After a brief visit to the Neen Valley Railway whilst on our way home, we were impressed enough to plan a return and have a proper look round and take a rail trip into Peterborough. The colourful flowers added ambience to what we thought would be an interesting day out. With a variety of rolling stock and locomotives, Wandsford is the headquarters of the Neen Valley Railway and amongst its attractions also offers a cafe, shop and toilets. In 2021, this locomotive came to Neen Valley on loan from Great Western Railway, based at Didcot. The 262 wheel arrangement of this loco was extensively used for suburban passenger services. After spending time at a scrapyard in Barry, South Wales, it was restored for use on Heritage Railways in 1997. was alongside many other locomotives built at Swindon in 1946 and weighs just over 78 tonnes. We arrived too late during our first visit to have a trip, but we got to witness some of the work taking place before putting it away until next time. This young man had an interesting use for the rails, but it nevertheless seemed to do the job. <laughs> Aveling and Porter were better known for their road going engines but did build some steam engines for a variety of railway duties. But this one, the last to be built, was used by the Holbrook Cement Company, later to become part of Blue Circle Cement. After being restored at the Blue Bell Railway, it was sold in 1997 and has had several owners before arriving at Neen Valley in 2020. It is sure to draw interest wherever it goes. had come for us to embark on our trip to Peterborough, but first we had the pleasure of seeing Thomas arrive to pull us to Yarwell, which is only a short journey of a few minutes, but in the opposite direction to Peterborough. The village is accessible from the station 
and does have a lovely old 17th century pub, but rather than looking around, we wanted to keep with Thomas for the return to Wandsford, and then on to Peterborough, so we didn't miss out on any of the trip. After uncoupling, Thomas changed ends, so our carriage was now at the front of the train. Thomas, engine number 1800, was built by Hudswell Clark of Leeds in 1947 and spent all of its working life at the British Sugar Corporation in Peterborough. But eventually being replaced by a diesel. Arriving back at Wandsford, we had a short wait while Thomas was uncoupled and returned to the engine shed. This gave us a little time to have a look at what's happening around the station, with maintenance in all its forms having to be done. This beautiful locomotive, Bahamas, was built in 1935 and pretty well saw service nearly up to the end of the steam era. Jubilee class 460 number 45596 was built in Glasgow by the North British Locomotive Company and could reach a top speed of 75 miles per hour. Now based at the Keithley and Worth Valley Railway, it often makes visits to other heritage lines around the country since its overhaul, which also enables it to return to mainline excursions. I understand this Polish tank engine, number 5485, was having tests done after a new boiler had been constructed, which would enable it to run again along the Neen Valley. Last seen running in 2011, it had to retire from service due to her boiler ticket expiring. Designed and built for everyday hard work, and not for performance, Many of these locos were still in use until the mid-90s in their native country. It was nearing the time to board our train again, this time being pulled by diesel. Class 14 D9529 was built in the mid-60s at Swindon. It is a fairly small diesel hydraulic loco which saw service mainly hauling short distance freight, but also capable for shunting duties. They did not have a very long working life with British Rail and were mainly sold off to private industry. After coupling up, we were soon to be on our way 
and would be getting up speed and taking in the views along the Neen Valley. long before we could see Overton station coming into view. This station is an ideal stopping off point to explore the Ferry Meadows Country Park, if you have the time. After a very brief stop, we were on our way and soon to be passing the Orton Mere station. We were before long arriving at Peterborough. The station and surroundings are somewhat underwhelming but are due to be improved upon. You can of course walk into the city from here. An item of interest was the so-called other train from the 1960s experiment with its linear induction motor, it was soon to be confined to history. After changing ends once again and coupling up the train, we were soon to be on the return journey. Again, passing through some very pleasant countryside. Before long, we were in view of the Great North Road. And again crossing the River Neen for the last time. shower took us back to the tea room before setting off home. We had had a great day and would recommend the Neen Valley Railway. Mm -hmm. 